morning, Ariel. What are you doing? Oh, hey, Flounder. I'm just getting ready for the day and brushing my hair. What is that anyway? It's called a fork. Oh, and you brush your hair with it? Yep, that's what Scuttle said. Oh, Ariel. Good morning, Sebastian. That is not what a fork is used for. Okay, smarty pants, what is a fork used for? For eating lunch like me. Was Scuttle wrong? Of course Scuttle was wrong. You're talking about a bird without any brains. Hey now, Sebastian, be nice. Anyways, what's the plan for today? Of course, Daddy asked you to follow me, didn't he? Yep, just like any other day. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing today. Well, to keep you busy and out of trouble, I've got an activity you can do. Activity, huh? Oh, you'll like this one, Ariel. Caboodle fans, welcome to the ocean. Sebastian has a surprise activity for Ariel. We need to keep her busy. Yes, we do. Look at this shiny activity tin Sebastian found. Let's see what's inside. I see Ariel and her sisters on the front. We also have a couple mermaid brushes, some shimmery paints, and a pen. Let's see what else Ariel has in here. It looks like we've got some sparkly gems. We've got beautiful colors. Coloring cards. This one's of Ariel. Who is this sister? Another sister. Ariel is a human. Ariel, sister. We've got Sebastian Flounder. Oh, and Ursula. We also have some shiny stickers. And King Titan is here. We can put those on this scene under the sea or on land. We have a huge flounder coloring sheet and Ariel's. Ariel's definitely going to be busy. Wow, I don't even know what to pick to start out. I know exactly what Ariel wants to be on land. Let's go ahead and use these vinyl clings to put on our image. Let's see, Ariel as a human, she's gonna be on the sand right here. We're gonna have Ursula, whoa, look at her tentacles. She tricked Ariel. We're gonna put her right in the sea right here. I'm definitely gonna put Scuttle next to to Ariel and Sebastian. Flounder is going to be in the sea. Too bad we don't have one of Eric. Here is our scene. Now let's take our notebook with all of the sisters. Do you know their names? Let's see if I can do this without looking it up. So we've got Ariel. That is Perla because these look like pearls on her outfit. And Dira because I love her outfit. Oh, let's see. That one's Karina, Mala, uh, is that one Caspia? Oh, and I forget her name. I almost have them all memorized. Let's look for a page to decorate and write in. Oh, I really like this one. We've got Ariel Flounder. Let's use our stickers to fill it in. We have King Titan, King of the Seas. Let's put him way over here. Can't forget about Sebastian. He's always watching Ariel. We have Mala, one of the sisters. Put her right here. So this one is Caspia with the pink hair. We're gonna put her right next to Sebastian. And Karina's the one with the purple hair and the blue outfit. Wow, we have so many sisters in one scene. Can we fit Perla in here? Yes, we can. Let me bring our water and our paints because I wanna paint Flounder and Ariel. Let's do Flounder in the yellow. Ariel has dark reddish hair. Let's do, oh, it's kind of pink. That's all right. She has brown skin. Let's go ahead and do her arms as well. I did her bottom in kind of like a greenish and her top is going to be purple. We're done with our scene. That was fun, let's do some more. Well, we do have these images that we can paint or these bigger ones. We've got Flounder or Ariel. I kinda wanna do Ariel with all of these bubbles. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do her fishtail first. I'm gonna take this green and this blue and hopefully it's gonna make a beautiful turquoise color. Remember, water paints are really light in color. Oh, pretty. I really like how this color turned out. Let's see if I can make it a little bit darker for you guys to see. Her fin has hints of blue. Let's go ahead and add this beautiful blue color right on the bottom here. 
that's so pretty. I'm just gonna go up a little bit with this blue. Let's take this purple and her top is in that color. I really like how it's turning out. Next up, we have red for the hair. I'm gonna take the red and the brown and mix them together to make it a little bit darker. Let's go ahead and work on the hair part. It's very, very wavy. Let me do the right side as well. The colors are really popping out. Let's do the brown for her skin color and go ahead and start painting the body. Let's do her arms too. I'm gonna try to go around her eyes and her lips. Very pretty, okay. On to her lips. Let's do them in this kind of reddish pink color. I think her whole mouth is just gonna be that color there we go and let's just finish off the image the bubbles are going to be in blue the seaweed is going to be in this green all right caboodle fans here is my aerial this one turned out really awesome plus i love the pearly effect that the paints give my daughter is painting flounder over there well, Ariel, did you like it? Ariel, where did that girl go again? And here is my daughter's picture of Flounder.